Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the wonderful outdoors. There's Carter Reed Exner, and today he has challenged me to a one versus one top five walleye competition. But there's a good one catch. He's in his boat, and I'll be in my boat. I let him pick the lake. I'm not sure exactly how many hours we're gonna have. We'll figure that out once we get out there, but it'll be about a five and a half, six hour ordeal. Like I said, top five walleyes. We're going to have a check-in after each walleye you catch. You have to send a text to the other person so they know what number you're at, which also means that if Carter slams a bunch of fish, I can go looking for him. <laughs> it's perfect. So I can go, I can go lock port him if I need to, or vice versa, right? When you have a competition like that and somebody's hammering them, well, there you go. So anyways, I don't know how much I'm going to do in terms of the video with the whole Mega Live and all that stuff because obviously I'm focused on a competition. This is all about beating Carter right now, teaching him that I am the king. So we're going to get both boats in the water. We're going to have a little shotgun start. We're going to do it. We are in the water here. Carter's right there getting finishing touches. We're gonna have about a five and a half hour competition, it looks like. And uh, yeah, five biggest walleye. He's uh, just making a little Instagram post here. He's probably pretty excited that I'm gonna whoop him good. It's gonna be fun. We'll see how much he talks with the camera the whole time. It'll be good. Anyways, ready when you are, Carter Reed. One versus one, Clayton versus Carter. Are we going? Give her. Say it all right, boy. I'm gonna whoop Okay. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I challenge Clayton to this competition this summer. And Clayton, of course, waited till last minute to do it. Probably because he's scared and he's gonna lose. But I am gonna go over what my strategy is today. Uh, mainly sharpshooting. We'll be using Rappler wraps. Hyper hammers and hyper rattles, and also jigging a minnow. My plan of attack to start with is going to be sharpshooting pretty heavily. And uh, from there, we'll see, but I'm in 27 feet and I'm already marking fish right here. So we're gonna start right here and go from there. But like I said, sharpshooting to start with, I probably won't register anything, say below, oh, there's fish down there, anything below um probably 18 inches to start with no maybe 17 inches to start with and yeah hopefully the bite's on fire today sand points it's going to be the biggest probably thing i'm going to search for to start with and uh if i have to i might oh i just popped one i might crank some flats something like that but we'll see i should probably like maybe even if I catch one right away, I'll just like a registry if it's small, just to get him, just to rattle him a little bit. But nah, I'm gonna stick with my thing. It's gotta be. We're gonna have to go. Ah, I just popped another one. That's two. I'm gonna say 16 inches, or I won't uh, register him to start with. We'll see. Once I get a couple nicer ones on, then I probably won't register anything for sure over like 18, 19. But hopefully, hopefully we can pop some nicer ones. My goal is to stay as far away from Clayton as possible. Starting with a hyper rattle, one ounce hyper rattle. And uh, hopefully I can stick with it for most of the day. But I do probably plan to fish a jig and a minnow at some point as well. Ooh. This feels better. Feels nice. Don't even have the net ready. What am I caught on? Oh no. 
It's a gone show. It's a netter. It's a netter. Yes. There we go, Clayton. And we have, is it gonna touch 21 and a quarter? Nope, 21 incher. How about this, Clayton? Put him back. Ha ha ha. What a start. Carter's on the board with a 21 incher. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. He got a quick early start. Oh boy, good thing is I know where he is right now, but whoa, 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 whoa. Carter, slow down. Slow down, Carter. I fished this lake a lot last year and fall time was an unreal bite. I caught three or four over 27 with 50 to 80 fish days. So hopefully we can recreate that today. But I'm guessing five 22 to 23 inches would win today, which 21 inches first fish I will take. <laughs> <laughs> I, just got, I just got nervous all of a sudden. Whoa. Okay, a long, lots of time. You got this, Clayton. You got this. Like Carter said, I'm in a lose-lose situation. I beat him. Everyone's like, well, you should beat him. I lose to him. It's like, you lost to Carter? Like, you lost to a kid, basically? Right? Like, I'm in a lose-lose situation. Clayton has nothing to lose in this competition. If he wins, oh, congratulations, you beat a 21-year-old. What would you expect? But if I win, he does this for a living. He fishes almost every day, or shouldn't say every day three times as much as me I should also get my net ready at a better spot too right there maybe yeah okay we got my net ready better spot there we go feels like another good one No, oh, just belly hooked. Well, I'll record them. 15 inches. 15 incher. Okay, now he registered a 15 incher, so he's on him. He's got two fish already registered, and I've got nothing yet. Clayton hasn't recorded anything to me yet. I hope he gets skunked today. Okay, time to get serious. Jigging him in a time with a little drop shot above it. Small guy, I think. Very. Fifteen and three quarter. Fifteen three quarter. Those two fish, I hope, are gone by the end of the day. I think that fish ate my drop shot. I have a jig in the middle and a drop shot, and I'm pretty sure it ate the top drop shot, which makes me, I'm going to keep my drop shot on then. Oh, baby. Okay. I'm not going to register this fish, though. I'm curious for size, but I'm not going to register it. I'm going to make him thinking that I'm catching nothing yet for sure, even though, like, it is something. I guess I'm still not catching very much, though. Okay, it's like 14 inches, 14 incher. Okay, but the drop shot, the top, I've got a, I've got a drop shot here on top of a jig in the minnow. So maybe, uh, maybe that'll end up being my ticket. I will keep that on now. I was thinking about taking it off and just running just uh, a jig head with a minnow and that's it. But uh, now we're gonna, now we're gonna keep that on there. I'm gonna regret that if, I need that 14 incher to win, but at the same time, Carter's already got three fish with the smallest being 15 incher. A 14 incher is gonna do me no good by the end of the day. I'm gonna drop him down a jig and a minnow. To remember, this isn't like an hour long competition either. This is, this is a good part of the day. I've got time. 
Yep. It feels very small. I am on Clayton sized fish right now. 16 inches. 16 incher. 16 incher. He's got four fish now. <laughs> okay, he is on fish. He is on fish. Fish is coming up to my drop shot. It ate it. It ate the drop shot again. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. This feels small again, though. Yeah, still not going to register this fish. But it did eat the drop shot again, the plastic. It took the plastic over the real minnow. Interesting. Okay, Let's see what this one ate. I don't know if it's the drop shot or the bottom, but I might, or the jig, I should say, but I maybe have my first fish registered anyway. This one feels better than 14 inches. Okay, it ate the jig in the minnow. We'll register one just so he knows that I'm not like, for some reason, not measuring fish or something. Okay, our first fish is a 17. Can't get 17 and a quarter. 17, our first registered 17 incher. Clayton with one 17 incher. I feel bad for him. Here we go, right off the bottom. Mm, feels a little bit better. Definitely feels a little bit better. What do we got? What do we got? Oh yeah, this is a good counter for me right here. I can't lose this one. I eat the jig in the middle. Oh no, got my net stuck. Yes, that's a good counter right there. Boom. What do we got? That's a good one right there. Back in the game. Yeah, baby. 22 incher back in the game. Once I register this, Carter's gonna be shaking in his boots. I got you, Carter, I got you. That one ate it right off of the bottom. So I'm gonna try a slow, slow drift, bringing it down this, this point, basically keeping contact with the bottom the whole time, just hardly dragging it. That one was a little bit shallower. That one's about 18, 20 feet. First one was like 25, 26 ish. Part of me really wants to pull cranks for a little bit, but I know that this is definitely the more exciting way to do this for sure. At some point today, Carter and I will end up fishing beside each other at, at a spot. I just know we will. It's going to be fun when that happens. Carter's on the move again. Next spot. He didn't register any fish. He's fished one, two, three different spots now. So he's on the move again. I haven't moved yet. I'm on my spot one yet. I'm just trying to mark him a decent amount of fish and they're just very, very finicky. So I'm trying to, trying to finesse them a little bit first before I move to another spot. Thirteen and a quarter. That's my fifth fish. It's been uh, a big wall happening. Uh, see what I'm at. I'm only happy with my first fish. I'm at 65 inches for five fish. The only fish I want to keep is that 21 incher. So it's time to start upgrading. Oh, Carter just registered his fifth fish at 13 and a quarter. And like I said, I've, I had a 14 that I didn't register. Hope it wasn't coming back to sting me later, but that's, uh, I just feel like I don't need that fish. I'm on small fish right now, and I think it's just time to try to maybe move and try to find something a little bit bigger. Okay, good. That one's gone. Let's make a move here. Can always come back here later. Kill cords, life jackets, let's do it. I'm gonna throw the hyper out a little bit first just because it's the wind's ripping here, which I like. I like for this bait. Oh, is this, is this a walleye? Is this a walleye? It's decent. I feel like I might have a carp too. 
What do we got? Oh yeah, it's a walleye. Okay. Oh yeah. Choked it too. Come on. Got it. Oh, why did I put my net back? Come on. Come on. This is our third one. This is our third one. Okay. Okay. Third fish registered. It's our third registered fish at 18 and a half. Just touches 18 and a half. Our third registered fish, 18 and a half inches, baby. Clayton with an 18 and a half. Uh oh. That one was on a clown colored hyper rattle, biggest size. Like I said, a little bit windy. Here at this spot, so we're gonna fish a little bit more aggressive. I was marking a bunch of fish there. Took me a while to catch one, so I might try a jig in the middle there at some point too, whether I spot lock or whether I just try to hold into the wind, basically. We'll see, but we're doing good. We got this. We got this. Splash guards, always needed in a tiller. Pretty much any boat if you ever wanna hold into the wind backwards. I get mine from white cap, white cap splash guards in the States. They've been solid. There we go. Oh, this one feels big. I had my finger on my line. This one feels good. It's just dragging it down that edge. This one definitely feels like it's gonna be a good one. Yes, 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 yes. It ate the drop shot, it ate the drop shot. Yes. Our fourth fish being registered right now. Let's check her out. 19 and three quarters. Whoa, easy girl. 19 and three quarter inch baby, going back. On the drop shot. So I talk about a drop shot right now. I have my quarter ounce Acme Google Eye jig. And about 18 inches down, I have a VMC spin shot uh, drop shot hook here with about a three inch little minnow. That fish ate the drop shot. That is amazing right now because that's four fish registered and four of them are all bigger than Carter's second biggest, which means he's looking to replace, like I said, four fish yet. Hope you're doing good, Carter, but not as good as me. Okay. Carter's coming to meet me for a mid, a little mid competition meet up here. Just make sure all his cameras are running good, all that. So I'll stop fishing until he gets here. We can chat a little bit and uh, go from there, but things are looking good. Well, I haven't added anything up, but you got my total and you got Carter's total right there at our midway. I guess it's kind of midway type of thing. So uh, I'm probably behind, I think a little bit, but I've also got one less fish registered. So let's do it. The bite's tough, like Carter said. It's not an easy bite right now, so. Finicky, a little bit more finesse, which I don't like to fish finesse as much as I do power fish. I'd rather power fish, but in competition mode, you gotta do whatever you gotta do. I'd love to see Carter pop a 30 incher right now, to be honest. I'll go over there for, for the whole thing, just because even though it's a competition, I still wanna see him smash a big fish. Oh, drop shot. I watched him come up on the Mega Live on the drop shot. This can be my fifth fish registered. Hey, Carter. Here's number five. Got him. Our fifth fish registered. And the best part, Carter's right there. 18 and a quarter. Uh-oh, what's Carter got? How big, Carter? You'll oh. find out. Oh, that's how big he says. I'll find out. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go, 20 and three quarter. Texas coming in. This. This will replace his 13 and a quarter. Ooh, 20.75. Okay, that replaces that fish right there. I needed one of those. Yes, you did. That's a, that's a big fish for him right now, big time.
17 and a half injured. Oh, he's hooked up again. Look at this kid, smashing. He's smashing right now. Oh, <laughs> he's probably so quiet over there as he's doing his nailing him too. Now I'm on. They're starting to pick up a little bit. Carter's dealing with his fish. I'm dealing with mine. Is mine gonna be an upgrade from 18? No, it doesn't look like it. We'll check just in case, but I don't think so. No, oh, 16 and a quarter. Oh good. Placing my 15 and three quarter with this 18 and a half. Oh, he got a big upgrade, 18 and a half. It's a three inch upgrade. I think, I think he's winning now. Oh, I finally figured it out. They don't want the jig and wrap right now. Just jigging a minnow. Nice. Nice, what do we got? What do we got? Is this gonna be an upgrade? Got a 17 inch to upgrade right now. Uh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Need the drop shot. Easy, 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 easy. I don't think it's quite an upgrade. I don't think it's an upgrade for me. It's a little bit of an upgrade and every inch counts. It's a half an inch upgrade. Gives me a 17 and a half so I get rid of my 17 inch at least. Just need a 30 inch right now. I'll seal the deal put him out of his misery it's so so weird it's like cloudy plus smoky I know this video is probably been pretty dull looking for the background just because it's so weird out right now it's like it feels like it's like dark yeah it's only 440 we got an hour and a an hour and a half oh hour and 40 minutes left of competition yet okay there goes Carter I might make some moves here at some point too I'm not sure yet I'm gonna give this another 15 minutes yet here. See what happens. Oh, maybe not. Such a light bite. This one feels a little bit heavier though. This one feels like it should be an upgrade, I would say. Oh, are you gonna be an upgrade from 17 and a half? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, maybe, could be 18. Could be 18, probably should have netted you. I've been in this predicament before, not netted it and regretted it later. Yeah, it's an upgrade. It is. I don't quite, yeah. Uh, no, I never get 18 and three quarters. I can only get 18 and a half. Okay, well, I'm getting rid of my 17 and a half with a one inch upgrade here. Need a 16 inch to upgrade. If it is, it's close. Yup. An upgrade by a quarter inch. 16.25. Oh, Carter got a 16 and a quarter. So that, repl that adds, that gets his rid of his 16. Small upgrade, small upgrade. Yup. Jeez, I can't see me. Can't see me switching up. I think I feel like I just have to wait for that fish to come to me right now. I feel like if I was losing, I would possibly run around, but I'm catching fish and there's a good chance that I get a bigger one come to me here. So I'm just gonna hang tight, I think. 23 feet of water has been my depth right now. Spot locked and the fish are just cruising this basically the sand point but well, maybe I'll spend my last half hour at my first spot 
same thing spot locked just because it's it's close to the where we're going to be for the end of the day so here is what i've been using all day the bigger hyper rattle hammers and the rapple jigging wraps but i've noticed the bite has been pretty picky on the jig and a minnow so i'm going to try to go to a smaller i think this is a half ounce hyper hammer and a 10 gram hyper rattle i'm going to try see if they like that better than the bigger ones nice we got here this one feels a little bit better maybe maybe uh don't think so not quite nope only 15 and three quarters oh i need a 20 incher part of me wants to try somewhere else but part of me just wants to just keep toughing it out no updates from carter so it's not like he's found anything where he's smashing so and i'm sure he's running around right now in my mind he's like probably trying to to find one good fish right to, to win catches one 25 incher he wins probably even less than that probably like a 23 incher right now probably a a seven inch upgrade would be lots right so like i said part of me wants to to move somewhere but part of me is like clayton just keep fishing because right now time hooking the water is probably my best bet to seal the deal here we go come on please please it's an upgrade it's an upgrade I think. Come on. Yes. I don't know if it's enough. By a quarter inch. 16 and a half. Oh, he got. I saw an upgrade come in from him in 16 to and a half, which really scared me, right? Because I'm like, oh no. It's only a quarter inch upgrade. He's now two and three quarters inch, through two and three quarter inches behind. So upgrade. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, please. Please. Yes! Yes! I don't know what happened with my bail there when I set that hook. It slipped open, but yes! This is it! It's a 20 incher for sure. It's been such a grind today. 20 and a half incher, right there. Send this to Clayton. I'm getting nervous just to see up, updates come in from Carter. I like, obviously I want him to do good, but I still want to win. Now he's gonna come find me and fish by me for the next 20 minutes. Oh, he just got a 20 and a half. That's a four inch upgrade. He's now in the lead. Oh boy, oh boy. He's gonna win. I need an upgrade. He's in the lead. He's in the lead. Carter did it. Good for you, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to catch you yet, buddy. I'm gonna have to catch you. Wow. Last minute miracle right now. Carter pulled in the lead. He is on him. Too small, too small. Too small, okay. I need to make something happen. I think we're gonna try a sharpshoot here for the last 15 minutes. Gotta make something happen. Come on. Yep, yep, good fish. Another, another upgrade. Another upgrade, another upgrade. Room. Yes. 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 And we have to touch 19 and three quarter. Nope. 19 and a half inch. Another upgrade. Buzzer beater. 
Oh, Carter got a 19 and a half now. Now he's crushing. Now he's crushing. I think I have to go where he is, right? Ah, no. Nah. Good for him. Good for him. He went back where he started the day and uh, paid off for him. Smart. Okay, it's, uh, it's 10 after 6. I said we'd fish to 20 after 6, but it's too dark right now. we got to load everything up. And really, you couldn't even see anything anyway at this point. So Carter wins. He pulled out a last minute, a last 20 minute two fish to pull ahead. Congratulations, little buddy. You did good. You made a smart move by going back to where you started your day because that was your best spot to start off. So Carter, you win this round but you won't win the next one, I promise. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Thank you Carter for this and uh, yeah, get outside.